Hello everyone, this is Sadiq here. In this particular video, we'll learn why Python is famous. So in this, the contents what we cover in this particular video are something like this. We'll try to under, understand what is Python, the applications of Python language, why everyone prefers Python language, and we'll also see what are the companies that is using the Python, and the, why the name Python has arrived, and also we'll look into what are the different versions of Pythons are there and what is the current versions that is being used. So let's start. So why, what is Python? So when you talk about what is Python, I say Python is one of the fastest growing programming language. On what basis? So on the basis of number of developers who is using this language, on the basis of number of libraries, what is available in this language. So Python is the fastest growing. Not only that, even on the basis of number of companies which is using Python, and apart from all those things, the areas of applications, so that means the Python is very widely used in different types of multiple applications. When you look into all these particular sectors, the Python is in the top lead. So now, who are the people who use Python? See, there are many programming languages like C, C++, Java, or C Sharp, and all this thing. And when you look into it, we have a C, C++ language is used by a particular segment of people. Java is used by a particular segment of people. When you talk about a C sharp, it is again used by a particular segment of people. But when it comes to Python, so Python is used with many segments of people. What are the different segments of people who use Python? So we'll try to understand that. See, uh, when you look into this particular thing, so obviously the Python is used by the software engineers, no doubt about that. But it is not restricted only for the software engineers. The Python is also used by the mathematicians to do those particular mathematical operations. It is used by the data analyst for doing the data analysis job. So it can be like what we talk about uh, data engineering, or you want to do a data scientist, you want to do a predictive analysis, we can use it in the data analyst sectors. Also, they use this particular Python. Python is also used by the research scientists in the re research operations. And I have seen even Python is used even with the network engineers where they write the scripts to automate their particular activities. And not only that, nowadays when you see Python is used even for the kids in the school because Python is one of the simplest, easiest language and it is one of the widely used language or I can say it's a future language what is being predicted. So based on that, you can see nowadays even in the schools, so they have started teaching uh, kids Python. So Python is not restricted only for the software engineers. That is almost in every segment of people use Python. Now, why Python is famous? As we all know, Python was started in 1989. It started much before a very popular programming language was started. So that means like we have one very popular programming language, say Java, which was started in 1995. But Python was started much before that in 1989 itself. But in those days, when you talk about 80s and 90s, we had only one kind of a programming. So like, you know, those days people were working only with the desktop programming. Later, people were just moving only to the web programming and so on. But when you see the last few years, there is a huge demand which is coming for the Python. Why is that? Because there is a lot of advancements in the new technologies, like we have what I call it as a machine learning. So that means that this is becoming picking up a lot in the new generation from last few years. We have a machine learning, we have this artificial intelligence, we have a IoT, that is Internet of Things, we have a data science, data engineering, okay, we have a big data, okay, I think. So in the last few years, we can see there is a lot of advancements in this kind of technologies. And who are the people who use this particular technologies? So generally, the people who use this technologies are nothing but the research scientists, the business analysts who use this particular technologies. Now, when you talk about this particular research scientists and the business analysts, so now if these people have to implement their activities, we want they, they want to automate. So, and if they have to learn a programming language, so it's not easy go for them. So now generally these people, they look for some language which is very easy to use it. So when I talk about the easy to use programming language in the current industry, in the IT world, is none other than Python. So we say Python is one of the simplest, one of the easiest programming language, which is much, much easier than the very popular languages like C Sharp, Java, C, C++, and so on. 
So when I say it's one of the easiest language, so that is the reason why this all people prefer for Python as a language. Now, what are the applications of Python? So Python is used almost in every sector that we saw. So the data, Python is used with the data analysis for the data science operation, the data engineering operations. So you want to do a predictive analysis, yeah, Python is used. It is also used in the machine learning, okay? It is also used with artificial intelligence, automation of works, okay? Also it is used for the web development. Not only that, it, yeah, Python also is used in the testing. So that means we have very wide areas of applications where the Python can be used. Now, we'll try to find out why everyone prefers Python. Most of the people prefer Python. Why is that? So I can say one example for that is, so Python is one of the simplest language. What we see uh, is the Python, okay? It's because of the easiness of the program. So instead of writing some huge lines of code. So you can just write in a small short of line of code. We can be a very uh, on point, on to point, like when you're writing a program. So I'll, I'll show some examples or in the future upcoming sessions, I will show you like how easy it is to write a Python programming. And apart from that, Python also is a high level programming language. So generally when I talk about a high level programming language, what happens is when you talk about a traditional programming language, okay, or whenever you write any program, so there is something like, you know, we need to manage the memory, how the memory was allotted, we need to deallocate and all these things. We need to have destructors, constructors and all these things. When it comes to high level language, so this kind of automatic garbage collections will be done automatically. They'll have a lot of built-in libraries for the sorting algorithms and so on. So there's a lot of built-in functionalities and built-in uh, kind of a background works will be done of uh, automatic garbage collections and all these things. So those benefits you, need, you get when you're using any high level programming language. So when you see here, Python is one of the high level programming language. This is one more reason why people prefer Python. Apart from all this, the Python supports multiple programming paradigm. So what is multiple programming paradigm? So we know in the programming world, we have different ways of writing the program. So then the two popular ways are procedural oriented programming and object oriented programming. So when you talk about a C language, was a procedural language, like where we have a top-down approach that people used to write the code, okay? And when it comes to a C++ or Java or a C Sharp and uh, the latest programming, they have object-oriented programming. Now, when we have to write any program in an object-oriented programming, so we need to define a class, we need to define the members in that, we need to create an object of that, and then we access. That means even for writing a small program, you need to write a lot of code. So now, so when I just want to write a simple program, might be addition of two numbers, we prefer going for a procedural language where I don't have to define all the classes and objects, directly declare a variable, assign the value and do the job. Okay, so now here in the Python, it is left up to the developer, so how he wants to write. So when he wants to write some simple program without using an object-oriented programming, yeah. So in Python, you can write a program even without write, using an object-oriented program. So that means a procedure will be, so when you want to write some simple programs where you don't need the concept of classes and objects, you can go ahead writing the procedural language. Now, when you want really use this particular concept of classes, the code reusability, yeah, Python also supports object-oriented programming. All the features of object-oriented programming like the concept of classes, the inheritance, the constructors, okay, abstraction, all those things. So we can also make use of the object-oriented programming. Apart from that, the Python also supports, so that means it is left up to the developer whether they want to use it, go with the procedural way of writing a program or object-oriented way of writing the program. Python supports both types of programming. Python supports a pla is a platform independent, or we say it supports a cross-platform. So what is this? Now, as a developer, you don't have to worry about, so this Python can be developed on any platform, so in Windows platform, or a Linux platform, or a Mac Pro platform, you can develop. Not only that, even when you're executing the program, it can be executed on any platform. So you have developed a program on Windows, you can even execute on a Linux or a Mac machine and things. So we have completely a plat cross-platform um, support is there with the Python language. Apart from all these things, the Python also has a larger community. So when you talk about a large community, so that means 
we have a lot of Python programmers who has been subscribed to this particular community. So when you're working in the real time, you come across with any kind of a queries or doubts, we can always put your queries into the community. And then since we have a large community, so you will be getting the responses much faster and we can move faster. And I think, so this is the main reason why people prefer Python because of the easiness is a high level program. It supports multiple programming paradigms, So both procedural as well as object oriented. It also supports a cross platform. One of the biggest benefits of nowadays. And we do also has large community what has been contributed to the Python. So where we get any kind of complex solutions can be solved very easily. Now, when I say Python is easy, on what basis we say is an easy language. See, when I talk about this, uh, uh, when I have to write a simple program, says hello. Okay, when I'm writing a program in a C language, so what is that I need to do? I need to do declare something called as a header file, and then I need to have a main entry point has to be defined. It says white mind with the parentheses, and then we can see we have this open braces, the closes braces, and then we are writing a printf, and we can see we are writing the actual text that we wanted to display. And okay, according to the syntax, you need to end with the semicolon, so you need to write all these things. Okay. And the same thing when I write, have to write a program in a Java or a C sharp, again, we need to write uh, the header files. We need to define the main entry point as the way it has to be public, static, white main. Okay, then the braces, then we say console and it's a case sensitive. We need to follow all these particular things. Okay, we need to end with the semicolon. We need to have the string within the double quotes. Yeah, you need to write all these particular things. But same program, if you want to write in Python, Okay, so you're just directly to the point. So it's just you wanted to print hello, you just write this method. There is a built-in method in Python part as a print. Okay, there are some default libraries included. We don't have to explicitly include the libraries and just say, what is that you want to print? I just want to print hello. Now, in some language, again, they say, okay, when you have to print something, we have to write it in the double quotes. In some languages, they say, no, you have to write in the single quote. But Python, no, you can just print this hello either in the single quote or it can be written in the double quotes. But one thing is you need to ensure is how you have opened the course, you need to close the same course. Okay, it is that simple okay, um, the way to write a program. So I can say you cannot have any programming languages which is simpler than this to write a program. So this main reason why the Python is so famous and so popular, and I think. Now, coming to the author who has written this Python, who is that? Uh, or I okay, can before that. So which of the companies use the Python? So there are many companies which uses Python. I've just listed some of the companies like PHP are aware of it. Yahoo is uh, there. Uh, YouTube is there. And NASA is written using a Python. Google is written using Python. Dropbox is written using. So all these companies, either they are using Python as a primary language or the Python is used as a supporting language. And apart from that, there are many companies which is using Python as a primary language to develop the particular websites or develop this particular um, portal and so on. So, so it is used with many companies, it has been used and those companies which has been used, we know that the popularity of this particular companies. Yeah, fine. So now, who's the author of Python, how the Python was invented? So we have this particular person, Guido Van Grusen, the author of Python. He was a big fan of a British comedy movie called as Monty Python Flying Circus. So when he introduced a programming language and he had this particular intention of giving the Python as a name for that, and he named it initially. And when everybody liked, okay, telling that, okay, yeah, fine, this is a good language, you can go ahead. And he said, we'll continue with Python and the name Python was continued. Okay, so now the Python also has with the different versions. As I said, the Python was started in 1989. So they came out with the different versions. A lot of enhancements was done in Python. So the Python 1.0, 1.x was released in 1994. Then we had 2.x, which was released in 2000 onwards. And then we had a new version, so which was 3.x, which was released in 2008. Now, when you look into this particular as a new version, 3.x, it has a lot of new features, what is being introduced in this, which is supporting uh, for the new advancement level of programming. So for the machine learning and things, and there are many libraries which is supporting for 3.x. So the most preferred 
version as of now and you know 2.x was started in 2000 so the support is python has told like they are going to support only till 2020 so after that you will not have a support for it but 3.x is the latest version of python so it is always preferred go for learning 3.x version of python okay so this is what i just wanted to say why python is the famous language so thank you thank you for watching the video